Introducing Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Popular music, or the so-called pop music as we now know it, was born in America in the 1920s. Among all the famous musicians related to the genre, there was one, Michael Jackson, MJ, or Jacko, who would become the king of pop and its ultimate icon. Every king was once a child, and Michael was a very musical one, first walking on stage at the age of five. Together with four of his siblings, he performed in the family band, The Jackson Five. It was a very hard time for black artists to record and perform their own music because of the racial barriers that existed within society. But record companies like the Motown label created hope. The company was one of the most important soul labels owned by an African-American, Barry Gordy. It established the soul pop Motown sound and was famous for its factory-like production of hits. When Gordy took the brothers under his wing, their father's ambitions came true. The band was soon to be seen on tours, recording an album with superstar Diana Ross, and even creating its self-titled cartoon show. But the Motown label's restrictive politics and the lack of musical freedom forced the Jackson Five to leave and change their name to The Jacksons. Meanwhile, Michael started performing his own songs with the producer Quincy Jones. But how did the boy become the king of pop and create a fever worldwide? First of all, his unique voice and distinct vocal hiccup singing technique were one of a kind. His passions for beatboxing and imitating various instruments, as well as his habit of recording music while composing, were really unusual at the time. This innovative thinking turned Michael's performance into art, with new haircuts, costumes, and attributes. Together with his unique dance style and the moonwalk move, he became an icon. The King was a record breaker. He was the first artist with top singles in five different decades and five number one singles from one album. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame acknowledged him twice, and his best-selling album, Thriller, still holds the Guinness World Record. It sold 65 million copies and went platinum 29 times. Unfortunately, Michael's controversial private life was becoming more and more public. The vitiligo disease was whitening his skin color and the paternity over his three children was being questioned. So was also the close contact he was having with children at his own fantasy-themed ranch, Neverland. This public discontent escalated to a long-lasting trial due to rumors of child sexual abuse. Michael was cleared of all charges, but that case damaged his reputation for the years to come. He died at the age of 50 from a heart attack caused by prescription drugs, leaving a lot of unanswered questions and worldwide grief. Around 35 million of his albums were sold the following year. Even after his death, the King of Pop continues to break records as one of history's top-earning dead celebrities. The King may be dead, but let the pop live on.